We call her the sterile king. Queen, I'm not a king. <laughs> hey Meta, start a video. There we go. There's gonna be a lot of editing. I can't, I can't come into this room. High projections must. I'm trying to really behave for you. <laughs> we don't want you to behave. <sighs> Opening my gown. Sterily. Yeah, you get to teach so people well, know what you're Well, I doing. might have to go back and talk later. I hate the sound of my voice on this. I'm gonna gel in. You always wanna wait till it's dry in order for it to be effective. I hate this. There's gonna be a lot of editing. It's harder when I do it because I've got all this hair in my arms. It takes longer to dry. Yeah, because he's a Sasquatch. Eight hours of this, Carrie. You're Just gonna remember. get me. You're gonna get me murdered. <laughs> One of your followers. All right, tell them how. This is important because everybody wants to know how how you do it yourself. What's that white thing? This is a towel in case you're in case you scrubbing scrub in wet. You're, wet. you're gonna open your gown without touching any of the outside. Watch your arms out so you can be sure that you're not breaking sterility. I'm gonna need someone to tie me up. I don't normally do this. Want to make sure the oh, person that's right. tying you up doesn't touch any of your gown. You're going to keep yourself back from the edge so you don't touch accidentally. Open your gloves. This is it. This is what everybody wants to see. How, how my assistant puts her gloves on if she's helping me put mine on. You're going to make sure your fingers aren't peeking out at all. Take your thumb, flip it over. So you be your thumb to your thumb. Pull it down over top of your gown. Slide it on. Slide it on. S U X. That dude doesn't know how to spell and he's making fun of me. Again, covered. Flip it on, pinch it, pull it over top. Take your card. That's important. Everybody under, doesn't understand that card. This way, none of your gown has touched anything that's not sterile. Tie yourself up. All right, now the most important part, she has to wait for me, because nothing can start until I come in. What yeah. do you do when I'm out there? I sit and try to contain my excitement. <laughs> Glove in up exhausting. here. First time we go in, we usually scrub with water. You can use the gel afterwards, but typically we'll use water for our first scrub of the day. My knee gets that oh, wait, going, I so I don't touch on, it because I'm going to want to shut this off. <laughs> if some people are making fun of me because I'm standing here scrubbing while the water is running, and they're saying I'm wasting water. This water is extremely cold, and I want it to get warm, so I'm letting it warm up. You have to get your hands and your arms wet, and then you start soaping up the scrub process. You better be so doing that. I'll soap up my hands, soap up my arms, all the way to my elbows. Carrie, how many times? 10 on each finger? What'd she say? You're gonna do 12 on each finger, on either side of the finger. I can't hear you. Each plane, so each, each quadrant of each finger, you go 12 times. So I'll do one side of this finger, one side of that finger 12 times, that finger 12 times, that finger 12 times. And we're gonna do this with each finger. Obviously I'm not doing all 12 because this is a video, but that's the proper way to do it. So any of the students or residents watching, if this is a question, you're gonna do this 12 times each plane of each finger, which will be four planes. Scrub your hand the same way. And you're gonna do the same thing on each plane of your arm. Anything else to add, Carrie? To, to do it properly, you have to drip the water off your elbows, right? Okay, so then after we've scrubbed, we're gonna throw this away, and we're gonna rinse each hand off. 
start rinsing from your fingertips, down your arm, all the way to your elbow, and let the water drip off your elbow. Bumpy, start what? over. Right, so I, I can't put this hand back into the water now. I'm gonna do the same thing with this hand. I can't get any of that hand wet again because I'm rinsing everything off down to my elbow and it's gonna drip off my elbow. You're fine. You're fine. Shut it off with my knee. That's it. You have a towel for me? In here. I'm gonna use my back on the door because I can't touch anything because I'm not sterile. You're not sterile. You're scrubbed. I'm scrubbed. Not sterile. My assistant has a cheap towel for me. <laughs> If this were real, I'd have a nice heavy blue towel, right? I want to dry off and then not touch again, correct? Correct. And then she's going to hand me my gloves. Hey, Meta, start a video. Why? It's not we're working. Good. Hey, Meta, start a video. There we go. You know what I'd like to do to Meta? Or... Now I've got my sleeves just like her. I'm going to use my left hand to gradually pull my fingers out and keep that cuff around my hand. My lovely assistant's counting. Why do you do that? You always flip the gloves. Because I like to have them ready. They're usually already finished before he comes in the room. See how she's got that nice and stretched open? My hand slides in there. Takes now this one's sterile. I can grab this hand out of that sleeve. We stretch together. Now I've got a nice open hole. Perfect. Why do you stretch them like that? To make them easier to slide on and open up for you. So she's stretching this one open. Now I'm sterile, right? So I, I can touch it's whatever like I Just want. calm down, Carrie. I can't hardly. Just, just, just relax. Turn around. Can't touch below, oh, from here down. Nipples to navel. Nipples to navel. That's your sterile. So I broke sterile. Ah! Can't do that, that was bad. Just opens this one up. We go in, grab this one. Why do you stretch it? Just to ease of access. How's that? That's very official. Now, this card is sterile. I can either have her do it or I can have an assistant do it because they're gonna be grabbing something and then I won't be touching this again. Did I say that correctly? I'm asking her because that is her major responsibility. She's trained in maintaining the sterility of this room. Right, Carrie, how would you define that? Yes, I would define it. I am the... Uh... We call her the sterile king, the sterility king. Queen! I'm you... not a king. <laughs> you know what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> She's the queen of sterility. She watches everything that's happening in this room. If someone gets close, like if I... She's it... always saying my butt's up against the table. I, I can't do that. If I turn around and my butt hits the table, now the table's not sterile because my back's not sterile. Even if I put my elbow on it, right? My elbow can't go on the table, or can it? No. No, shouldn't. Could, no, shouldn't, because your elbows aren't yes, sterile. No. The back of your gown is not. So back to the card. I pull this part off, hand this to her, and then I'm going to turn counterclockwise. And that seals my gown off in the back. And then I tie. It's exhausting. And we have eight hours together. Best part of the week. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't feel this. How about taking it off? Well, we're done. We get to do this every time we scrub in. Yeah. Eight times a day, probably. Huh? How many times a day do you do this? Oh, With him? Well, it depends on how many times you can stand I hate my sound and my voice. Fuck you.